Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to create a CSS3 and HTML5 responsive buttons. These buttons are easily customizable so that you can change their properties easily and make them look as you want. So here I am in my text editor and I have three links here. And each of these have different site links and each link has different class applied to them and one class is common which is btn and all others have btn small btn medium and uh, so on so let's jump into our css file which is linked to this html file and start styling these buttons or links here so i'll write btn class and i i'll apply some styles to this first of all i'm going to set its display property to table okay and then text align to center and let's change its text decoration to text decoration to none and so that underline will be removed and give it a letter spacing of 0 0.02 and font weight 700 give it a color of pound ecf0f1 and give it a background color of color of f9 2856 and let's give it a border radius of 0.24 ms and give it a margin bottom of 1 m so that we'll have little bit more space between these elements now let's go ahead and target each individual button so i'll write btn and i'll write small so that it will target our first button which is small button so i'll give it a font size of 0.8 m and give it a padding of 1 m from top and bottom and 1.8 m from left and right similarly we target our second button by writing btn medium and let's give it a font size of 1 m padding of 1 m from top and bottom and 2 m from left and right and let's target our third button element so button large and give it a font size of 1.3 ms and padding of 1 m from top and bottom 2.6 m from left and right now we have created our three buttons here you can see the preview in the browser now we have created our basic buttons let's apply some hover effects to these buttons so i'll write btn and target its hover pseudo element and then i'll write a background color of pound f92838 and give it a color of pound 2c 3 e 5 0 and then apply some transition which is 0.2 second all is in out now you can see the effect by hovering on each of these buttons okay now let's copy this transition and paste inside this button class here so it will more smooth transition between these colors now we have created our basic buttons let's write some media queries so i'll write it at the rate media only screen and will target based on max width of 320 pixels and apply body and set 
its font size to 12 pixels so whenever the browser window size is equal to 320 pixel or less then the font size will be of 12 pixels and all these buttons are styled based on these media queries so now go ahead and resize the browser window now now you can see the font size of these buttons are also changed all these buttons are styled based on this 12 pixel base font size so now in the next video i am going to show you how to incorporate font awesome icons into our buttons and how to use font awesome library and i am also going to show you how to use box shadow to create more button like effects and give it a stylish look so thank you for watching this video if you like this tutorial please hit subscribe to my channel and like this video